When you crouch, you're so easy to eliminate. If you have a crouching addiction, all I have to do as the enemy is keep moving, then shoot. If you want to go from your current rank to a mortal, you need to get over this crouching addiction. Two of my students struggle with this issue. One is Kivo, a gold three student. And the second is a diamond three student. So here's what I told them. For starters, you rely on your crouch button as your panic button. To get rid of this, instead of hovering your pinky finger over your control key, keep it hovered over your shift key. By doing this, when you panic and press the key, you will now press the shift key and it's going to allow you to take the fight while standing. The good thing about this method is that even if you freak out and move, you're still fairly accurate while shift walking, so you will still be able to get kills that you really shouldn't be getting. So from now on in your ranked games, make sure you are focusing on keeping your pinky hovered over shift to make this a habit. This method will force you to consciously move your pinky to the control key if you really want to crouch rather than allowing crouch to be your panic button. Before we go any further, make sure to hit that sub button. Now, this method is to help you passively overcome your crouching addiction. So what else did I show my students? Well, I showed them some eye-opening tips so they can see firsthand why their crouching addiction is holding them back. Many of you may not notice, but when you crouch, do not adjust your crosshair to the enemy's head. You keep your crosshair at their hips. When you crouch, it also lowers your crosshair, so you have to forcefully make sure that you keep it on the enemy's head so you don't become a body shot warrior. Don't wait till after you have crouched to adjust your crosshair. You need to do this while your body is in the motion of crouching. If you want to practice this for the rare situations that you should crouch, go into the practice range, spawn a few practice spots, and simply practice crouching. And as you're crouching, keep your crosshair at the enemy's head just like this. Rinse and repeat these motions, and it should only take you about a week to be able to closely make this a habit. Now, here's another issue that is tied to the panicking that causes crouching addictions. The truth is, guys, no matter what rank you are in, everyone tends to shoot too soon, especially when you show your dominance early in the game. And once fear enters their minds, a lot of people, even an immortal, rely on crouching as a desperate act to secure the kill. So keep it moving, guys. Let's say this jet peeks me and immediately crouches. Don't panic. Just take a quick sidestep and tap her in the face. It really is that simple on countering crouch spamming enemies. While they're stuck in the mud, we are a moving target and they need to catch their spray up to our heads. So again, this is why it's crucial for not only my two students, but for everyone who is watching this video to take control of your crouching addiction. Before I let you go, I wanna tell you about an amazing Wuhujin video in which he stated a couple of default rules when fighting that I told my students. In fights that are zero to five meters in distance, you should be running and gunning, basically making yourself a hard target as you see on screen. When doing this, make sure that your crosshair is on the enemy's head while spraying. In fights that are 10 to 15 meters, you should be going for burst, sidestep, then spray combination as you see on the screen. On the burst, you want to burst up to two bullets, then take your sidestep to allow your gun's recoil to reset. Then commit to the spray while making sure your crosshair, again, is on the enemy's head before you even shoot. On fights that are 20 meters or more, this is where you wanna only burst, sidestep, burst, and sidestep. Under no circumstance have I said crouch. So stick to these basic rules and remember guys, don't spam crouch because you will just become a goofy goober who is stuck in the mud. If you're interested in my free coaching, join my Discord server or you can also become a channel member for only $5 to get exclusive access to map and agent guides. I also host exclusive live streams with my members where we study professional players, so come join us because it's honestly pretty fun. As for my two students, Kevo and the Diamond 3 student, I expect them to overcome this issue very soon. But that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, deuce deuce everyone. And hit that sub man, because you know you want to.